Hey, what's good? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my beer battered fish taco recipe. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been testing this for a while now, and I think I finally perfected it. It's a simple beer battered fish recipe that comes out nice and light, but has a great crunch. You can use any white flaky fish, but today I'm going to be using some previously frozen cod that we got from Whole Foods. Let me show you how I prepare it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the fish from its packaging. I'll cut the fish into strips that are about as big as fish sticks, a little more than half an inch thick. Once I finished cutting the fish, the next thing that I did is I made sure to wash and completely dry it. You don't wanna skip this step because if you do, the batter isn't gonna to stick to the fish. So what'll happen is when you take a bite, um, that fish can easily slide out of the batter. So make sure you don't skip this step. And uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna make the batter. So I've tested IPAs, blondes, and other fancy beers. And honestly, a cheap can of whatever you want will do just fine. I'm gonna measure out one cup, but we will need more, so don't drink all the beer. Next, we'll measure out our dry ingredients. I'm measuring out one cup of all-purpose flour. I'm also measuring out one cup of potato starch, which I'll put in a separate bowl. And another half cup of potato starch, which I'll mix with the one cup of flour. We'll also add one teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of paprika. And then we'll sift all of that together into a bowl. Next, I'm gonna add our beer and mix it all together. Keep adding a little bit of beer and mixing it until you get the consistency of melted ice cream. In another bowl, I'm adding some salt to the potato starch before I throw the fish in and add a dry coating. Shake off any extra and put them to the side. This is also going to help the batter stick to the fish, so don't skip this step. Next, I'm going to heat up about three cups of vegetable oil in a saucepan. I'm using a thermometer to keep track of the temperature. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in picking one up. Once the oil hits 350 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll throw a few fish pieces into our wet batter. Next, I'll quickly drop one piece of fish back into the potato starch and then move it around a bit to get another dry coating. Carefully place the fish into the oil and let it cook on all sides until they are a nice golden brown. This should take about six to eight minutes. I'm gonna place the cooked fish on a rack to drain and cool while I prep our sauce and toppings. I'll put all of this in the description, but here I'm mincing a handful of cilantro. For the sauce, I'm going to combine about eight ounces of sour cream with about one fourth cup of minced cilantro. To that, I'll also add the juice of one lime.
I'm going to keep the topping simple by just dicing some fresh tomatoes and I'll also dice up some leftover red onions. For my fish tacos, I'm using some corn tortillas. I just quickly heat these up on a super hot pan till they're soft and flexible. And here's how I build my tacos. You can't have enough of this sauce, but I'm just being modest for this video. The last thing I like to add is some fresh cotija cheese, and I completely forgot to add the avocado, but you get the idea. Add whatever you want. And there it is, my beer battered fish taco. Let's go in for a bite. These fish tacos have a nice, light, crispy crunch because we use potato starch instead of all flour. This recipe is also great if you wanted to do large pieces of fish for fish and chips. But yeah, there it is. Thank you so much for watching. And here is some more footage of me eating. Like, comment, subscribe.